Hi, this is Ivan Kovacev. In this video, I'm going to present the new Web Multi Instance update. The Mac OS X and Windows installers add several new folders which offer Cubase and Logic VST and AU3 orchestral templates specially designed for Web Multi Instance system. The update comes with Limer and Touch OSC remote workstations, which are built according to the Web Multi instance specifics. Now the web templates are updated with a new folder labeled Mega Instances. The Mega Instance templates offer thousands of MIDI channels and numerous contact instruments with a DAO Direct A, B, C, and D ports access which is not possible in normal conditions. For example, the P8 template comes with 128 contact instances set to web plugin ports 1 to 8, which allows you to use up to 8192 MIDI channels per web instance. The template name P prefix indicates the number of web plugin ports used in that preset and the K prefix indicates the number of contact instances used in that web instance template. Let's have a look at the P8 Mega template. Note, all contact instances are organized into folders according to the web plugin port number assignment. All contact instances packed into P1 folder are set to web port number 1 and assigned to MIDI channel all. You can use the folder enable disable button to unload or load all contact instances simultaneously. You can load tons of contact libraries in your template and enable a folder or given contact instances whenever you need them. It is recommended to keep your web instance very optimized just by using 16 or 32 contact instances, for example. Let's say you have two folders of 32 contacts and you want to add more contact web port folders. In this example, I'll use the merge project function to add more contact instances. Here, I'll uncheck all folder boxes. Finally, I'll check only the P3 and P4 folders to import them into my current project. As you see, I added 32 contact instances assigned to web plugin ports 3 and 4 very easily. Now, the web multi instance comes with Cubase VST3 templates labeled Generic and Orchestral. The generic template is organized into 8 folder tracks. Each folder track contains up to 128 MIDI tracks which feed a given web instance. The MIDI tracks are pre-assigned to a given web plugin port number 1 to 8 in this case. The virtual instrument channels in the mixer use generic names such as Web1, Web2, etc so you can rename them according to the instrument types loaded into the Vienna Ensemble Pro instances. The orchestral template is organized into eight web instances such as winds, brass, percussion, etc. The MIDI tracks of each web plugin port number use a custom color and are pre-assigned to the correspondent web instance plugin port number. All you have to do is to load correspondent instruments in the Vienna Pro instances and load the AG Expression Maps starting templates into the Cubase MIDI tracks. Here, you only have to replace the empty name symbols with correspondent articulation names. Logic AU3 templates are professionally made by using environment multi instruments which don't lock the solo and mute buttons. This is a big advantage in comparison with the standard multi timbre instrument setup. 
Each orchestral section offers up to 8 web ports, 128 input MIDI tracks and up to 8192 contact MIDI channels available per web instance. This mega setup gives you unlimited composing possibilities, saving a lot of system resources. Web Multi Instance version 2 comes with an AG Limer Articulation Remote Workstation. The articulation buttons display default names according to the provided Logic and Cubage articulation maps. You can change the empty symbols in the articulation names very easily. For example, users who own AG Articulation Editor can teleport the custom articulation names very quickly. Those of you who don't own AG Articulation Editor can select the AG import script of a given Limer interface, expand the script editor and type custom articulation names there. This method saves a lot of time because you don't have to select each button and type two names for its on and off status. Finally, you have to click the script editor gray background and run the script. The AG Lima workstation comes with user settings for each layout interface. The articulation button's output definition is set to program change by default. For example, you can change that setting to not key switches or to any other definition listed in this menu here. The Control Change Fader Assignments dialog allows you to set a custom controller number for each mixer fader directly in your iPad. You can also change the fader's vertical zoom level of each layout very easily. I'll create an example mixer scene to show you the copy-paste mixer scenes and controller assignments procedure. After you press the copy button, all fader values Custom labels and controller assignments are stored into a temporary clipboard. Now you can switch to any layout preset and paste the clipboard there. The Paste dialog offers a selective pasting where you can choose what to paste in the target layout preset. You can use the global MIDI channel assignment fader to change the layout output channel of all buttons and faders in one go. The Touch OSC workstation comes with 25 pages where all articulation button names correspond to the default Web Multi Instance templates, Cubase expression maps, and logic articulation sets. The Limer and Touch OSC articulation button's output is set to program change by default, so you can record the remote program messages directly in any digital audio workstation or use the provided Web Multi Instance Program Switching Templates. You have to load any of the provided Expression Maps template and press Set the Remote Keys button. After that, you have to switch to Program Change Messages Remote Mode. Done! The Key Switch Remote Mapping is converted into Program Remote 1. Let's load this demo expression map and try the Touch OSC remote. Fine. All works as expected. Thanks for watching this video.